is up guys, Triforce Caboose here, hope everyone's doing well today, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure Extra. This is like Go Figure, but mostly uh, a lot shorter for things that I don't have, uh, a lot that I can talk about. Mostly I use this for statues and static figures and things like that, but boy do I have something that I would like to talk about. I think it's actually so heavy that it stopped my stand from rotating. Uh... We're back, first off. Thank you guys for holding on there. Uh, Shoutouts to Swine is online, uh, who you can find their link down in the description for the technical turbulence music there. Sorry about that. I had to crank my display into high gear to get this Goldar statue to rotate. But that being said, guys, we are here today with the Premium Collectible Studios Power Rangers Goldar statue. I have seen these statues. I had to pull my camera back a little bit to even... And it's kind of off-center. So, either way, I, once we get him out of the box, it won't be so hard. But, guys, I saw this. I lost my mind. We bought it. It's just great. I think this is, uh, I don't remember if Premium, I don't know if PCS is a subsidiary of Hasbro. I don't remember. I know Hasbro owns the rights to the Power Rangers merchandise. Either way, I think they actually own the whole franchise now. Either way, I, you guys know I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. I'm excited to review this. I want to get him out of this box and onto the stand so we can talk about him. I also really want to get my hands on Rita Repulsa, and I believe Zed's dropping later this year, so keep an eye out. I will probably have more of these figures on display and and also reviewed very soon here. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get into this episode of Go Figure Extra and get this boy out of the box and take a little bit look at how clean he is. So guys, I know I normally lead off by showing off the box a little bit more in detail, but this Goldar statue is trying me. Um, the box was really big where I'm set up currently. It was just being difficult, so I didn't even bother that. Pretty much all you missed was the little legal stuff on the bottom. So yeah, guys, so before we get into talking about him, let me go ahead and complete the look. For this Goldar, which includes using the only loose piece that he comes with, which is this excellently painted and sculpted sword. I love all of the little sculpt on it there. I love the color, the nice metallic, the nice red jewel in the middle. So yeah, let's go ahead and... And guys, I love this statue. I absolutely adore everything from the paint application to the deco, to the sculpt, to the base. The base is honestly one of my favorite things about this statue. This statue is making it difficult for my camera to focus. I'm having a hard time getting everything in the shot for some reason. But you know what? It's worth it. It is absolutely worth it because this Goldar boy is Excellent. Pay no attention to the panels on the side. But yes, this Goldar figure is absolutely excellent. Let's go ahead and I just want to talk about it more. I want to talk about him in detail. So let's get him off the stand and into the hand. So you guys, let's go ahead and take a look starting with Goldar. I'm going to talk a little bit about the sword. Um, the sword does wobble a little bit, but it's not in any way going to fall out. It even will stay in if you turn him upside down. But yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about the face sculpt. I love the sculpted in hair with the little points here at the bottom with the white. The face sculpt is great right on from the eye color to the, actually the little bit of like wrinkles at his forehead. Teeth are excellently painted. There's no bleed. Even with these small details, there's no paint bleed whatsoever. Got the nice little gold bit on his chin. You can even see on his neck, there, uh, right underneath the chin, they have the jewels painted in. Nice sculpt on the head. Coming around back, you can see you have all of this little uh, horns and points sculpted in. Same thing with the green jewels on the back here and also on the other side. Hair is sculpted down. It's a nice firm sculpt. You don't have to worry about anything breaking off, anything like that. Texturing along the shoulders. Right there you have an underlay, more jeweling there. Texturing along the elbows here. Looking underneath, you get this nice foldage in here with the black fabric going into the gauntlet. Then you have, I think that's fabric. I need to look at Goldar again, because it's the same thing. I know this is his hand. I think this is fabric, because otherwise it would be fur, right? Yeah, because he's got a tail. This is fabric. This is fabric. I'm probably wrong. Either way, nice sculpting into here. Same thing going, uh, excuse me, down to the uh, nails here. Everything's just beautiful. Same thing here on this right arm. It's a mimic of the other one, just in the fisted position, so he can hold his little sword there. Again, excellent serrated edge on the sword. Like I said, sword's kind of loose there, but you even get these little like ribs down here and little notches on the end of the sword. Nice little peg there at the end. Beautiful texturing all throughout. Nice contrast broken up by the red, which does have some nice sculpt in it. Again, you get the nice beetle shape for the cod piece. The plated here, you can still see the black underneath going down to the knees. 
red gold nice break up there the straps that are here are painted same thing on this side into like the talons feet we'll talk about the base here in a second because on the back you do have the perfectly sculpted tail little hook on the end of it a uh, nice little bangle there on the tail as well he's got it nice tucked behind him he's ready to scrap with somebody and yeah let's go ahead and talk about it the base has a nice gold art power coin aesthetic with that same kind of texturing throughout as well as you do get texturing throughout the outer rim there it's a nice solid gold um i mean i guess a wash could be put over it to like bring out like the highlights and low lights on this base but i mean down to the teeth sculpt and everything i don't think it even really needs it the base is like uh, this figure this statue is excellent everything they did here is excellent but more so than the statue, when I saw this on display and I saw it online, the base struck me as something that was just so beautiful. And you do have underneath here, it's solid. Yeah, it is Hasbro um, and PCS, so yeah. I don't know what the S21 is. Serial number, maybe? I don't know. That's little number one way down in there. But you do have it on an elevated base. So when he stands, like you guys saw when he was on there, he kind of leans forward. It's a very aggressive energy, which I feel like fits for Goldar. And honestly, guys, I adore this. Um, I don't collect a ton of statues. I know I've done my, uh, my Aerith Gainsborough statue here, but I don't really buy a lot of statues. I know I did the Spawn statue. I'm getting more into statues since I, I'm reviewing stuff, but this was uh, something I just bought the second I saw it. I had to have it, and it was mine, and it is mine, and now I'm sharing it with you guys because it's great. As for the height on this bad boy, I haven't even measured this boy yet. Find out. So to the top of his head, it's going to be just a little over 10 inches. Tip of the sword is going to be 11 inches. So that puts him right at about 28 centimeters to the tip of the sword and around 26 centimeters to the top of the head. The diameter of the actual base is going to clock in just a hair below 7 inches. So it's not a small figure by any means. And they executed everything with this figure perfectly. I'm a huge Power Ranger nerd and... This is just one of those things when I look at it, it makes me feel so nostalgic, makes me feel like a kid, and I had to have it. I recommend this to everybody. So yeah, guys, in closing on the PCS Goldar statue, I picked this thing up for about $60. I had a gift card. I ended up spending like $52 on it. I will say for that price point of $60, I think it's an excellent pickup for any Power Rangers fan. It looks great on a shelf. It's a great conversation piece. It's a heavy statue, and it has weight to it, and you feel like you get your money's worth with it. And I like the choice that they made for the elevated base because it adds some action and movement into a static statue that I really do like. If I had physically any complaint with this statue, it would just be that Goldar's sword is a little loose. I wish the grip hand was a little better but like I say you can turn it upside down and it will not fall out so I guess it's nothing to really complain about but yeah guys you know I don't rank figures and statues on a scale of 1 to 10 I just tell you what I think about it and like I said for the price point of like 55 to 65 dollars absolutely worth it I mean Goldar doesn't really get a lot of merchandise. I know the Lightning Collection Goldar figure is doesn't have a lot of paint, and that's one thing a few people have complained about. I think this figure has an excellent amount of paint, an excellent amount of sculpt, and just looks phenomenal. Like I say, I highly recommend it. But guys, that'll do it for today's episode of Go Figure Extra. Like I say, the extra episodes are not very long in comparison, but they're just stuff I like and want to talk about and want to let you guys know about in case you want to buy it. That way you've had somebody talk about it. But I gotta get this Goldar statue off the stand. He's wobbling my stand, and I need to get him off of there, and I want to get him somewhere nice and safely tucked away on my shelf with my other stuff but most importantly if you don't take anything away from the figure information which i do hope helps with your purchase making process in the future i do hope you guys are doing well remember that you're loved and you have worth and i hope whatever negativity is coming your way in life you remember that you deserve to be happy and don't let anything take that away from you goldar ain't that right but yeah, guys, most importantly, remember you are loved and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I appreciate you coming through to check out the Go Figure Extra and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. But until we meet up on the tracks again for our next wacky and crazy figure review, as always, the pleasure is all mine. I love you guys. And until next time, this caboose is loose and leaving the station. Boop.